Next on our agenda tonight, we have a report from our school attorney, Mr. David Shaw. Thank you, Mr. Pizzo. Um, this is a report regarding the boys' basketball team attendance investigation. During the past six months, the Board of Education called for two investigations regarding the attendance of the NFA varsity boys' basketball team that played during the 2008-9 and 2009-10 school years. First, the board engaged retired Ulster BOCI Superintendent Martin Ruckless to conduct a forensic audit of the team's attendance in light of allegations that many of the players had hundreds of cuts and that such conduct was enabled by school personnel. At the conclusion of Dr. Ruckless's audit, our law firm was called upon to supervise an investigation conducted through the district's Human Resources Department into the practices of school personnel involved with the implementation and oversight of the district's attendance policies, 5200, the general attendance policy, and 5441 that governs athletic participation. The questions we were asked to review were these. How could this happen? Was there malfeasance and or nonfeasance? Should there be accountability in the form of disciplinary proceedings? As stated during our interim report of June 28, 2011, the investigators interviewed 57 employees, including administrators, attendance staff, teachers, technology staff, clerical staff, coaches, and a student. The last aspect of the investigation was a review of the computer system through 10X technical staff to inform if there were, was any other evidence of which the district was unaware that implicated staff members in a manner for which disciplinary action should follow. That information did not produce further significant evidence and consequently, we are finalizing this investigation and making this report. The factors that contributed to the excessive class cutting and tardiness that informed this investigation were as follows. The lag time on reporting cuts and tardy events under the 10X computer system that was in use until February 2010. The students themselves were apparently well studied in the 90% attendance rule of policy 5200 and kept just below the violation level. They primarily did their cutting during marking periods outside of their season of play. There were hundreds of parentally excused cuts. There was a substantial number of administratively excused cuts and tardiness events sometimes excused beyond the three-day limit of policy 5441. There was an undue reliance upon civil service support staff to monitor attendance. There was a failure to conform the coding system of the computer attendance programs to the coding system of attendance policy 5200. These matters are currently being addressed by the board and administration through their policy initiatives and at the building level. As the remaining issues involve follow-up regarding internal personnel matters, there will be no further public reports to the board about this investigation. Thank you, Mr. Shaw. That concludes the superintendent's report for this agenda, Madam President. Thank you, Mr. Pizzo.